Hi guys, today I'm going to show how to install official Android 4.0.4 on Samsung Galaxy Y GTS 5360. First of all, download all the files given in the description and uh, you have to download the main file and extract it in the PC. Uh, so you have to make some changes in your uh, SD card. You have to make a folder called clockwork mode. Inside that you have to make a folder that is a uh, backup and inside this you have to uh, paste the extracted file. I'll show you the uh, file which you have to paste it in this one. This is the file which you get after the extraction. It is ICS for Galaxy Y. Open this file. You will get inside this file. Open the clockwork mode file. Open the backup file. And you will get here Android 4.0.4. This you have to paste. Uh, this file you have to paste it inside your SD card, the location which I had told you. Back to the installation process. Uh, as you know, uh, see, I'm on the stock ROM DXLF 12.3.6 Gingerbread. Okay, now power off your phone. It is shut down. Uh, now you have to go to the recovery mode for that. Uh, uh, press your power button, volume up button, and home button simultaneously. It means together. After the logo appears, you can leave the buttons. Now you are on the recovery mode. As you can see, the touch does not uh, touch is disabled over here. So you have to uh, uh, scroll up and down with your uh, volume up and volume down button, and select with your home button. And the uh, uh, back button is active. Now uh, here you have to wipe data and reset, click yes, wipe cache partition and now apply update from SD card, select the CWM file which I have uh, given for the download, uh, select the CWM.zip. Now here also you are now you are on the clock word recovery mode, wipe data over here also, wipe cache partition, say yes. And now you have to go, the installation process is a little bit uh, different from the other. You have to go to the backup and restore, but restore. Select the second option, restore. And you can see over here, the Android 4.0.4 is blinking at the starting. Okay, and now you have to select that file and uh, say yes to the restore. Click yes. Now this is a long process, uh, so please don't panic. Uh, as it is a very big file. It is checking MD5 sums. The installation process is a little bit longer, so please do not panic and please don't press any buttons at the, you know, at the installation process timing. It's installing, uh, it's restoring the system now. You can see over here. The process is almost started. It takes a big time uh, because it's a uh, file size is more than 400 MB. Uh, the process has been started. It's installing. The process is much longer, but the boot boot does not take much long time. So please uh, be patient. Please don't panic. It's installing. It's uh, restoring data right now.
it's installing as I told before the installation process is a little bit longer so please be patient it's uh, installing the applications right now it's installing the installation process is coming uh, to the end I think so yeah it's uh, in uh, restoring the android.secure now there are two to three sections uh, of installing over here so please don't panic it is a long procedure but uh, further it is a good room please don't panic be patient it's uh, restoring the android uh, secure you can see over here it is written please be patient as it is installing as you can see it's uh, now restoring that catch it's uh, restoring the cache partition now yeah the restore is completed uh, now it's come back to the clockwork mode so select the first option only uh, reboot the system now now it's rebooting uh, rebooting also doesn't take much time but uh, it's it's quicker in this one it's rebooting now if you see more than 5 minutes this logo uh, you can uh, press your power button more than 5 seconds and it will be and it's rebooted right now yeah the boot animation uh, is disabled over here you can change the boot animation the next video will be of uh, changing the boot animation you can see the boot animation is little bit uh, late for this one you can change it doesn't matter it's uh, coming to the home page now you can see uh, it's a good experience of uh, Android 4.0.4. .4. It's a great room. It is a good one. Let's see, it's a good one. You can see the panel is a little bit good than compared to the other one. You can see 15 widgets at the top. Here is it. I'll uh, show you a quick review. This is the menu. You can see over here, it's a good experience. Mm. Pre installed, some applications are pre installed. Talking Tom to Super User, TubeMate, YouTube, PDA Net, Play Store, Blackmart, Alpha, Fruit Ninja, all are pre installed. And uh, I'll show you the setting at a glance. Uh, as a setting as a setting this is a good setting uh, it's of ice cream sandwich uh, just the switching is not uh, done over here you can see android version 4.0.4 .4. here the it's of 2.3.6 only but it doesn't matter the android version here it's shown 4.0.4 .4. ice cream sandwich dxkl2 can see over here it's a good room uh, it has got battery saver as compared to the room also it's a good room but some defaultly problems uh, it's good it's smooth and you can see the menu experience is also good 
that's all with this video thank you for watching my video uh, please like the video comment if you have any problem and uh, please do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching